Hi, this is Connie Cleveland with my nine and a half week old Border Terrier puppy Pan Daemonium. And today I'm starting with sit. I'm requiring him to be a little more patient and I've been doing so for a couple of days and he's gotten much improved about just sitting and waiting for reward to happen. Today I'm going to be concentrating on the concept of move away from reward in order to earn reward. I'm sending him to his platform and I'm going to reward him with using a reward marker. For him, I start out saying yes. Yes. Yes is going to indicate that he has just made reward happen and I'm rewarding him at the platform in a sitting position because I'm trying to encourage him to be a little bit more patient in that position. Now I'm going to try the same skill to my left. And I understand that my hand is doing some luring. My hope is that in the next few days or weeks, he will understand how to move beyond my hand, in other words, beyond the lure, all the way to the place on his own, knowing just like that, hey, if I sit over here, I can make reward happen. I am really impressed with this final attempt. Yes. Changing subjects, I'm using a smaller target to teach Pan to do a down stay. So I am intermittently rewarding him for keeping that target right between his feet. In other words, that target is indicating to him exactly where I want him to lie down. So. I move it and I ask him to go down again and then reward him in the new location. I am not luring him down today with food on the target. I'm pointing to the target and when he goes down, rewarding him with the treat. Good means keep doing what you're doing. I call that a carry on marker. Now this is a new skill for Pan. I want him to learn to circle that object. So this will become move away from reward in order to earn reward. Although today I'm luring him around the cone and I'm trying to use my reward marker when he is at the top of the arc so that when he hears the reward marker, he can run back to me for reward. This is different than when I was sending him to the platform in that when he heard the reward marker, I was delivering the treat to him. In this instance, I want him to run back for reward. And trying not to confuse you, I am now using a reward marker nice, not because I need two reward markers, but because his owner and I had agreed to use nice, not yes. Nice. Good. Fortunately, I think they sound similarly enough that it's not going to be confusing for me to change with him at this early stage. The final thing I'm going to try to get him to do today is roll over. He's really been resistant the last few days to do this. I don't know whether it's a coordination thing, uh, but we're struggling a little bit, so I'm just trying to do a couple in each training session. It's a fun trick for a puppy to know, and also reviewing shake or touch. Nice! Woo! Is somebody getting really smart? Is somebody getting really smart?